Howdy folks, Joel Hutton with Tunland Farms here. Uh, today, just a quick video. Uh, this area is affectionately known as the Wasteland, given that moniker by my wife. The history we think is that this was just a big turnaround area where the trucks came in when they were logging this place, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, and it has never really recovered. As you can see, just based on the uh, undisturbed areas or somewhat undisturbed areas it's just a flat surface a lot of uh, sand and silt goes down a little ways and then you get into uh, decomposed shale and clay <coughs> excuse me the problem with that is it doesn't hold water uh, the water just kind of gets in it it soaks down at least to the bottom of the clay or to the top of the clay zone and then it just kind of sheets on down through here uh, it doesn't really get in there long enough to do anything so I picked up a subsoiler from Tractor Supply the other day. And basically what it is, it's a pointy blade on the bottom of a um, thin, narrow steel shaft, basically. And the goal is to get that blade down beneath the surface. And then that metal shaft just cuts along um, and gives you a about a two to three inch channel wide down underneath there. And it's only an inch wide up top. But as you can see, the way this hard pack is turning over it's uh kicking up quite a bit but you know this is going to be hard to grow anything in as it is so the first thing you got to have is water and i assume that there are some nutrients because this whole area is the watershed coming down here and it's just a matter of trying to give some moisture that will last long enough to hopefully get the seed bed that's already in there um fired up so anyway the ideal situation is you mark your contour lines that are going to follow um, the curve of the land because the water is running perpendicular to that i didn't spend that much time trying to figure that out i just kind of went with the eyeballs and really just ran it from end to end across this area hopefully it will uh, start to catch water like hundreds of gallons of water will seep into those cracks and set and hopefully start to build some constant moisture that plants can start to grab hold of and what little bit of nutrients there are some of the pioneer plants will grab hold uh, and get something going here we really got to get some bio biological organic matter in this area right now it's just dirt rock iron ore some islands of pine trees out here as you can see that seem to do okay um, but they're not going to make it out here so anyway that's it subsoiler creating a uh, two to three foot deep channel in this area which will support or catch more water and give it time to soak in versus just washing away uh, sheeting across the top here and into the pond down there which we want to fill but not with silt all right have a great day see you next time